it's just so much video these days. It's like you're thinking the hockey culture, you're on the ice teaching the kids, but you're doing a lot of stuff on, on the video. And it's like that changed a lot from, yeah, I've been coaching for 10 years now. So yeah, that's a big change. One thing you learn is like every kid is different. So they have different trigger points. Uh, they grew up differently, different uh, circumstances in their upbringing, in their lives. So to get to know them first and build some kind of trust with them, uh, I think that's the first step. And then you can start to dig in a little more and push them a little harder. But I think to find that find that trust with them first is important. The one thing that changed my life uh, quite a bit was we had a Canadian coach coming to, to Lexan and his name was Wayne Fleming. He sadly passed away a few years ago, uh, but he, he was there for four years and the professionalism he brought to the club and to the whole community was amazing. He raised me in, in many ways, and uh, yeah, he, he was great for, for not just me, but for a lot of guys. Guys that you coached with in the past, you still have connection with, uh, and you kind of help each other because they know you. So you're asking for tip, how do you think I should handle this? Uh, for example, last year was uh, me and Greg Morales, we didn't see the power players the same way. So I asked my old colleague, how am I going to approach this? And he gave me a great tip. And since then, Greg and I have been on the same page in a, in a different way. So, so you, can, you can ask for, for help from coaches that you trust and you know from before, for sure. He's great. He is, feels like he's 30 years old. <laughs> he's very mature, so you can have a dull conversation with him. Uh, but at the same time, he's still, he's still a kid. And, but he's very curious, he wants to learn, he wants to get better, he, he loves the game. So I think he has a bright future. A couple of years ago, there was older guys and there was younger guys, a little more, yeah, two, three different groups within the group. I think <laughs> this group is tighter. Uh, we also went through a tough run early this year. We lost a lot of games and it didn't feel right. And now we got together as a group and we're working a lot of team building stuff. And yeah. It, we'll see how it goes, but I, I really are, yeah, I'm very excited about the next few months here.